Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google Chrome version 128 is now available, which is now the latest release. And this latest version started rolling out once again late yesterday in my part of the world on the 21st of August. Now, as always, to double check, we have this release. We head to our main menu, help about Google Chrome. And after this update has been applied, version and build now has been upgraded to version 128.0.6613.84 or 0.85. Other or, if you are running Windows, Mac or Linux on version 128 means your browser is fully patched and up to date. Now, just to focus first of all on the security fixes that have rolled out because there's quite a lot going on um, regarding the security side of things in version 128. Now we get numerous security fixes that have rolled out, 38 in total. So quite a lot happening um, under the hood security wise. And of the 38 security fixes, seven of those are high severity, okay? Which are common exploits that have been patched. Use after free, inappropriate implementation, out of bounds, memory access, heap buffer overflow, um, type confusion in V8. And then one of those seven high severity flaws, Google has um, highlighted it as being exploited in the wild and it, it, it exists in the wild, which is CVE 20247971. So that means that's an exploit. Um, a zero day existing in the wild. So that exploit is currently out there. It's active and it's happening. So very important to double check. You get this update and apply this update sooner than later. And the high severity zero day is type confusion in V8. So that's the V8 JavaScript engine. So quite a lot going on under the hood with security fixes. 38 in total, seven high severity. And one of those is a zero day that's already existing in the wild. Now with the security side of things um, taken care of, just to focus on what's new. And I have pulled um, one new improvement out of the Chrome platform status that I thought you may be interested in. Um, because a lot of a lot of what's happening is taking place under the hood and wouldn't be too much of too much interest to your average home user. So this one is multi-pen inking which is basically the ability for um, a device's digitizer to recognize more than one pen device interacting with it simultaneously. This is now rolled out, this multi-pen inking with version 128. So basically what this is all about, um, it's a better way to distinguish between two individual pens on an ink-enabled digitizer. So you would need the hardware for this, but nonetheless, um, this is a new feature. And what this does, it's apparently a better way to secure and a more reliable way to identify ind individual pen pointers interacting with the screen in order to set specific colors or pen shapes for each device interacting with the digitizer. So multi-pen support is now available in Google Chrome version 128, over and above a whole lot of other improvements taking place under the hood. Now just to focus on a couple of things that I've spotted with version 128 that was not listed over on the Chrome platform status. And the first, like what I hate it, is Google is integrating a lens further into the Chrome web browser. So you may have seen this, you may have not. I actually posted a whole video on this the other day, and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. But just a quick recap. Now, with version 128, if you head up to your main menu, yeah, you'll see Search with Google Lens. And if you click on that, we get the new Lens user interface. So you can highlight on any page you can highlight a, a selection of that page, text or an image. And yeah, you'll see you can select the text and you can also translate if that is in a foreign language. And yeah, we get our related searches um, in the side panel. So that's just a quick overview, but I'll leave that other video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. So Google Lens, it seems, according to uh, Google, is yet to stay. And then we focus on the controversial V2, manifest V2 deprecation of extensions. And although I'm not spotting anything new in the stable version rollout of version 128, um, if you haven't already, you could see a lot more V2 extensions being flagged by Google, like uBlock Origin and the like. And Google is moving into V3 as, as mentioned. So if you haven't already, you could start seeing some more of these V2 extensions um, being blocked or flagged 
um, in the actual and on the extensions page, as in my case, uBlock Origin. So just bring your attention to that. That is happening, like it or hate it. And then if we head over to our performance settings, here's a little change that I've been uh, posting on when it was still in preview in Canary. And they've um, sh shaken up the UI, the user interface here a little bit and added a new setting. So previously we had memory, per hour, and speed. Now we've got general, which adds this inactive tabs appearance, which is toggled on by default. So um, if you are using memory saver and a tab becomes inactive, you will see a dotted circle that appears around site icons. So it'll be around that site icon, which will be a dotted circle, just to bring your attention to the fact that that tab is actually inactive. So you can turn that on and turn that off. It is on by default. So if you are worried maybe about using a little bit more extra system resources and don't want the interruption, you can just toggle that off. But there we go. And then we've got this shortcut uh, to uh, tab hover preview card appearance, which takes us to the appearance page. And obviously, yeah, you can adjust those settings for the tab um, hover card preview, which I've uh, disabled, as you can see. So that's something else just to take note of. And then you've got always keep these sites active and you've got the opportunity to add sites you want to keep active. So that's just a couple of extra things I have noticed with version 128. So um, at its heart and core, core really, as I mentioned with the early stable video, is a an important security update rolling out for version and with version 128 but over and above that a couple of those extra little improvements like lens further v2 extensions being deprecated and those performance settings so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one